सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सीनारियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी वेरी इजली आज इन योर पावर बी इंटरव्यूज ओके सो दिस सीनारियो इज बेस्ड ऑन इंटरसेक्ट फंक्शन विच इज देयर इन आवर डैक्स ओके सो यू शुड डेफिनेटली नो अबाउट दिस सीनारियो एंड होपफुली इफ इट इज आज टू यू इन द इंटरव्यू यू विल बी एबल टू एंसर इट प्रॉपरली ओके So let's proceed with the scenario. And before that, if you are new to the channel, then then do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Okay. So let's start. As you can see on the screen, we have this table. Okay. And we have this date slicer, date range slicer, basically. So what the interviewer will say that he would say that you have a fact table which contains the transactional data of your e-commerce website. Okay. Now. you have customer information also available in your fact table okay now if i have a date range slicer like this and if i select a particular range here can you create me a measure which would show me the total number of customers in that particular range like who who purchased something who ordered something okay and accordingly with respect to that particular range for example this 1st january 2022 to 3rd october 2022 so if this is a particular selected range in our date range then in this range what are the last year customers in this particular range okay so these are the last year's customers in that particular range of date and once i am able to see both both these measures then how many of these customers are common like how many are repeating the orders or purchasing something from this site in this particular date range so that is the overall scenario first what are the total number of customers in that particular range second what are the total number of customers in that particular selected range in the last year and what are the common number of customers in that particular range who all repeated the order and as you can see on the screen i have created it those measures just to show you all okay now i will create it from the scratch how i have created this and the same way you have to answer it to the interviewer okay so let us proceed with the solution okay i will duplicate this so i will remove all the measures that i have created and we'll start from the scratch okay now before starting i i will also show you the two tables that i am considering here this is the sales table and this is the uh, calendar table normal calendar table and normal sales table and i will show you the sales table also so here is my sales table we have four columns here Uh, order date the date on which the person ordered the item the customer name who ordered it the total sale value and the city from where the person has ordered so just these four columns for example now you can see some of the dates here so a uh, few of the orders are in 2021 and few of few of the orders are in 20, 2022 okay let us proceed with our first measure that will be the total number of customers in the current year in this selected range okay now i will create a measure for that so i will name it as total customers and here i will make use of count rows function here first because basically we have to count the total number of customers okay so i will make use of first count rows function here okay under count rows function i have to make use of calculate table here we will not use directly the table that we are considering here we have to make use of calculate table function and then create a table on top of it because we have to provide some kind of criteria on the basis of which we have to create the table okay so i will make use of calculate table here so this is the calculate table and since on the basis of customer name i have to figure out which are the common customers i will make use of one column here that is the customer name column and since i am only considering one column so i can go ahead with making use of values function here okay so values and customer name so this is a my column name i will close the bracket for values so this will return me a table which will be the first argument for calculate table and then comes the second argument of calculate table and in the second argument of calculate table we have to provide the filter expression so to provide the filter expression i will make use of dates between function why i am using dates between because we have a date range here okay so to use that both the range i have to make use of dates between function and the first argument of dates between function is date column so i will make use of date column here 
so this is my calendar date okay second argument will be the starting date so starting date will be minimum of minimum of the selected date so whatever is the minimum date range selected that will be our second argument here right and the last one will be the max whatever is the max date selected that will be the our that will be our third argument of dates between okay so date so this will be our third argument now close the bracket for calculate table and close the bracket for count rows i hope this measure is clear to you let us bring it on the table and and let us see the results and before that i will also uh, just copy this measure because it will be helpful in our upcoming measures so control c and let, let us visualize this measure first so i will bring this total customers here and as you can see here we are getting the total customers in this particular range which are those customers and the number of customers from these particular cities who have ordered in this particular range okay now we have to create the last year customers measures in this particular date range so let us proceed with that so i will go here and create another measure okay so i will name it as last year customers okay and now i will paste that measure that we have we had that we had earlier created okay and now since we have to create it for the last year from the selected date range so what i will do so i will go here and write minus 365 i will go here and write minus 365 okay so we since we have to go to the last year from the selected range so from the minimum date minus 365 and from the maximum date minus 365 okay so since our direct selected date range is 1st january to 2022 to 3rd october to 2022 so the last year date range will be 1st january 2021 to 3rd october 2021 so say it's correct now i will pull this last year customer measure on our table and let us see the result okay so total customers in the selected rate range in ghazibad is 1 and the last year also it was 1 as you can see here for gorakhpur the select in the selected date range the last the total number of customer is 1 but in the last year there was none so that's why it is blank similarly here it is in varanasi it is 2 but in the last year it was 1 so this is our last year customers now we have to find the common customers between these two measures so for that we will create another measure okay so let's do that and let us see how we can create a measure for common customers so i will name it as common customers okay and now for this i will make use of count rows function because we have to count and then the main use of intersect function so we have one function called intersect so here we will intersect our sales table with sales table only so it's a kind of sales join only so with the help of intersect we are able to do that so intersect will take left table and right table okay and it will return the common rows so the first argument of intersect will be this that we have already copied okay i will remove here count rows okay because we have to provide a table expression in the first argument of intersect function okay so this is our calculate uh, this is our first table then i will uh, comma it and provide the second argument okay which will be this and again again i will remove this count rows function because we have to provide a table to the intersect function as the second argument and here i will make use of minus 365 right now i will close the bracket for intersect and then i will close the bracket for count rows let us see if, if our measure is correct or not so we have no syntactical error in this measure so again i will repeat what i have done here i will first made use of count rows function to count then i will i have made use of intersect function to get the common customers in the selected range and then the two arguments first argument is this where i have given the where i have calculated the table with the selected range and the second argument is this where i have calculated the table one going one year back of the selected range right now let us see the result and verify our result is correct or not okay 
I will now pull this common customer measure on our table. Okay, let us do that. So now, as you can see here, let us verify if our common customer measure is correct or not. So for Ghaziabad, the total number of customer in the selected range is one, and in the last year it is one, and common it is one. Okay, now going back to the data table. So from Ghaziabad, we can see this is our uh, one record. So that uh, order date took place on 18th August 2021. and we have another record of akash malik which is 18th march 2022 so that's why in the total customer we get one as the count because we have one order date from akash malik from ghaziabad in in the selected range and in the last year customer also we are getting count as one because, because the order was placed within the selected range now why it is common because the customer is common akash malik akash malik so this is correct the common customer value is correct let us verify with another example varanasi let's take example of varanasi so in that collect, uh, current selected range the total customers from varanasi is 2 and the last year is 1 let us see that so in the current selection i will go to 2022 and from varanasi varanasi we have two records so this one is the one so 6th uh, february 2022 so this is the first record and this is the second 14th may so this is another record from harshit patel so these are the two records from current selection now let us go to the previous year in the selected range so from varanasi we have uh, 6th november 2021, 2021. so it, this is out of range because november comes after october and we have another and that is this 3rd february 2021 so this is one so the count of customer will be one in the last year so what we are getting we are getting one and why we are getting the common customer as one because we have that common customer called harshit patel this is the harshit patel which is common so that, so we can say now that our co common customer measure is correct okay so i have covered this whole scenario okay so that's it for this video i hope you got the explanation so if you liked it then please hit the like button and share the video to all your friends and colleagues who ever are in need of this okay so stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you